Good morning, you guys. Um, I am here today to just have a bit of a rant, to be honest with you. And I thought maybe some of you are feeling like this. Um, I've been feeling like this for quite some time. And I watched a video by Raw Beauty Christie. And she was basically, I could have done the whole video she was doing, apart from the fact that she's a mother to a human child. <laughs> I've got my Watson. <laughs> but um, I was listening to her going, that's exactly how I feel. I'm just not as interested in makeup anymore and kind of the beauty industry. And especially I had mentioned to you in empties, well, I might put this video up first, but I bought this eyeshadow palette and I was annoyed at myself for buying it. And I just bought it because it was new and then I didn't really enjoy using it. And I was like, well, you bought this literally because it was new. Like you, you have literally bought into the consumerism and you know, it's just such a waste. Like this, I should be spending that time and money on doing something that recycles or you know just I'm just contributing to a problem that I'm aware of how disposable the beauty industry has become because everything every time I go to do a favourites or every time I go to do just a normal favourites video for you guys or even at the end of a video when I'm talking about what makeup I've got on or what lipstick whatever it seems to have been discontinued and I'm like but this has only been out for six months or this has only been out for a year and it's like they're just continually bringing new things out to make people spend more money and, and it's just unnecessary, you know. So anyway, there are some things I am going to do more of, which I said in my kind of New Year's, not resolutions, but words. But let me tell you the things, there's six on here that I'm not doing anymore or I'm doing less of. Number one is I'm not going to wear makeup. I'm not wearing makeup every day anymore. Um, and that's, it's kind of been a slow progression, but it's been a bit of a eye opener to me, sort of, just before Christmas, I think that's when I was like, oh, this is interesting. My migraine was really bad before Christmas. As you know, it was over Christmas, but I had more pain relief then. But um, every morning I get up at the same time as Kev, so I get up at half past six and I sit and for that first hour, I do my makeup. And then a lot of the time I'm just here in the house, especially if my head's bad, you know, I don't go anywhere. I don't even go to the shops. I just lie down and I'm constantly fighting this migraine. Um, and so there, it, in December, there were a few days where I was just like, you know, I, I'm not going to put any makeup on. I just can't be bothered. But the biggest thing I noticed from that was, firstly, I started to get used to myself more without makeup. Don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those that I'm like, I can't go to shops. I haven't got my makeup on. I'm not that person. I used to be years ago, but I'm not like that at all now. But I would never look in the mirror and go, I like what I see. I'd be like, oh, I wish I had some makeup on, that kind of thing. But actually, I was getting more and more used to my face and going, you know what? I don't look too bad without makeup. My skin's okay, you know, um, certainly better than when I used to have like acne all over the place. So I got used to it. But the other thing I noticed was in the evenings, how much time I saved by not having to take my makeup off. I didn't really realise how long it took, whether it was in the shower, having to take it all off and then doing the kind of second cleanse, if you like, or if it was just with all my reusable things, I then had to wash them. And, you know, there was, there was a lot involved and I did not miss removing my makeup every night. So I was like, you know what? On days where I'm not going anywhere and I'm seeing nobody except the dog walker or maybe pop into the shops, I'm not putting makeup on because, I mean, I've got so much makeup, but it's it just felt like a waste of makeup and a waste of time. And I've got so little time with these migraines. What can I do to change things? The little time that I have, I want to use it more productively, like for my health or for something that, you know, boosts an income, something that's not just like, like Kev doesn't even see my makeup because he's gone by the time I've put my makeup on, he leaves at seven o'clock. And then it, normally I've taken my makeup off by the time he gets in at past seven at night. So he's not even seeing it. So I'm not gonna wear his makeup as much. I'm going to wear it when I have appointments. So like I was going to the vet, taking Watson to the vet this week and I put a face of makeup on for that. And it was, and it was really enjoyable then, you know, um, or like today for YouTube. And that was also enjoyable. Um, but I'm not going to wear it every day. That's done. This sounds, this video is going to sound like, I might as well call it, I'm letting myself go <laughs> because that's what it feels like. And of course, I suppose you could say I've let myself go in terms of weight. I need to work on that. And I am working on that. Um, number two, I'm not always going to do my nails as in long nails. So you can see they're long at the minute. And I always use builder gel on them because otherwise they're just too weak and they break. You know, people always say just builder gel, damage your nails, but 
the way they get damaged is if you're constantly like filing them too much when you put the, the builder gel on you know and my my natural nails have just never been strong enough to, to grow long but additionally there's a nail here this one that grows the wrong way and if I don't put an extension on it then it just it's very obvious you know so that's why I don't like having shorter nails or bare nails if you like um, but what I do do sometimes and you may remember if you've been with me for a while is if I've got short nails I'll have black varnish on and I paint gold stripes on and that kind of takes away from the fact that I've got this wonky nail. Um, I think I'm going to do that more because when I put the builder gel on or when I change my nail polish, firstly I file it off with a drill or just a manual file, it doesn't really matter, but it takes a long time. I can't soak it off because then it would soak all of the builder gel off and it might soak the whole tip off then, you know. So it takes a long time and it takes a long, it takes like a couple of hours over two days. And one of the things that triggers my migraine is putting my head like this, you know, constantly having my head down. And so that is something else. Um, filming does it, washing my hair over the sink like that or over the bath with my head down and doing my nails triggers a migraine. And so I don't know why I've not stopped before. I suppose it's vanity, you know, and just, I like having long nails to, I like giving Watson scratches. It's the only kind of, he's not a cuddly dog, but he'll let you give him a scratch and, you know, doesn't really work with short nails. That sounds like a silly reason, but it's just one of these things that I'm just like, you know what? I might go back to having short nails. I'm not going to do it all the time, but if if my nails are looking at the point where they need a lot of work and I'm not in a good place with my head, then I'm just going to say, you know what? I'm just going to cut them short. Number three is I'm not doing as much hair drying. Um, I Or hair styling, I should say. I have noticed if I wash my hair and use a conditioner, and just leave it to dry. I need to do it like early enough in the day because my hair takes hours to dry. It doesn't actually look that bad the following day. It doesn't look as bad as I thought, you know, that it would without blow drying it. So I don't always need to blow dry it, especially since even if there are a few kinks in it the following day, I can just use the heat tools on them to straighten them out. Um, and it's another thing that is, it's saving a lot of time, the blow drying, but it's also saving me, you know, because I normally tip my head upside down with my Dyson hair dryer to dry it. Um, so yeah, it's saving a lot of time, but it's not just the drying. I am still drying it sometimes. If I've done it in the evening, I've not got time for it to, to dry. I'm not gonna sleep with wet hair. I will blast the hair dryer on it and then just leave it like a tiny bit damp. But I'm not gonna do that last bit where I have to use my um, Babyliss Big Hair or Velcro rollers. All of that is, is a really time consuming thing and actually doesn't make that much of a difference unless I'm like going to an event. So I think I will use Velcro rollers or my fabulous big hair, either on days like today when I'm doing a video. I haven't today, I've just used a straightener. I washed my hair yesterday, blasted it with my hair dryer and then just used a straightener at the sides this morning to get some kinks out. Um, but yeah, either like that or if I'm going out with Kev or maybe at the weekend or something like that, but I'm not gonna spend as much time on styling my hair. Like I said, I'm letting myself go. <laughs> um, number four, devices. It's all the same theme you'll see running through this, but I, there's so many devices that I've tried on my face, you know, from infrared light to different types of infrared light to radio frequency to that little near a laser device. And I feel guilty because I come and do videos for you. So like the RF um, device that I used from Sunmay. And I said, I would do an update, but just because of my migraine, and I'm blaming a lot on it, but that is the reason why I haven't been as dedicated to these devices as I should be. Sorry about that banging, by the way, they're repairing the concrete pillars in the basement. Just an update on the um, RF device, by the way, I wouldn't bother with it. And it's not because I've tested it and it hasn't worked. I haven't actually tested it, like I'm saying, I haven't kept up with it. But um, they actually got in touch with me and wanted to gift me a device. I can't even remember what it was now, but I remember looking at it and thinking, no, this is not good. And it wasn't, um, there wasn't good reviews on it either. And just the more I looked at them as a company, I'm like, I don't know that I would trust the technology, um, if that makes sense. So I, it, it, maybe it does work, but I haven't tested it, but I I'm, I'm, can't say I've got 100% faith in it. Um, anyway, the point is all of these devices that I, I kind of beat myself up for not putting the current body face mask on every day, putting the, the neck mask on, the hand mask, I've got the hand mask and I don't use it. What I do use is I use my care lamp. I use that all the time because I enjoy it and I also find a big benefit from that in terms of inflammation. I use it on my knees, but I also use it on my face. I find it really relaxing and I feel like it does make my skin look better. So I don't mind using that because it's enjoyable. It's not something, and, and I'm not having to report back to you guys on anything. I should really do an updated video on it, but um, 
with the current body ones and that, they're not horrible to use, but I just, I would be using them because I feel like I should, you know? Um, and if you want to watch somebody that is dedicated to using these devices and who has seen some results and who is really good at showing you the results, Angie from Hot and Flashy is your woman, you know, she's so dedicated and I really admire that about her, but I'm just not, I think even if I didn't have migraine, honestly, I don't know whether I'd be dedicated enough to use all those devices every day because I'm very aware of time and I'm always trying to fit so much into my time. And I feel like with devices, there's nothing I've used, even that, how much I love the care lamp and the current body, I did see a difference in my skin, but it wasn't in the wrinkles. It was in, you know, my, my skin looked brighter and plumper, but it's not drastic. I haven't seen anything drastic from any device. And I said, I'm just not wanting to use my time every day using all these devices for a small difference, if that makes sense. So devices are a no for me, not all devices like today. I'm gonna to use my care lamp and I'm not saying I'm ever gonna use the current body ones. I've got them and if I feel like it, I'm gonna use them, but I'm not gonna beat myself up. Um, and I need to make you guys aware when I'm doing a video that I may not end up doing a follow up, I guess is the thing, um, which isn't very useful, but maybe I should just not review them. Number five is again along the same lines and it's I'm not going to do a complicated skincare routine. Again there's a lot of thought going into skincare with uh, what, what one can I use this with, what ones do I need to be using, I even had like a skincare planner, I still have that skincare planner and will no doubt use it again at some point when I have the spare time to enjoy that process but to make me myself feel like I should be doing this whole complex routine with all these different ingredients in. No, I'm not doing that. Because I think over Christmas and New Year, I was using um, some kind of hydrating serum and a night cream, and that was it at night. And in the morning, an SPF, sometimes with the hydration serum underneath, and that was it. And my skin feels great, you know. And there are products that I love, that I will continue to use. I love the Geek and Gorgeous Mission and C. I love the Matrixel from The Ordinary. I'm trying to think. There are lots of things that I really enjoy and will use, but I'm not going to obsess about um, what am I using. Am I using a retinoid, for example? Um, because I found The Ordinary Retinoid that I was using, the Grand Active Retinoid, didn't work very well for my skin either. The final one on the list is the one I spoke about at the beginning, in that I said, I'm not going to buy any more eyeshadow. I'm not saying never, I'm not saying I'm for this whole year, I'm not on a no buy, but it would have to be a special palette and I really want to step away and think about things before I buy anything, eyeshadow wise. I'm quite happy to buy more lipsticks because I want to do a lipstick favourite for you guys, but I went through all my lipsticks and pretty much all of them are out of stock, it's the same kind of thing, you know, but I'm happy to buy some new lipsticks because it's not something I've sort of have too many of or use. Too often, I'm quite happy to sort of expand my, my collection. Um, but eyeshadows, I have plenty. I don't need any more. Um, and it would just, it would be very wasteful, you know. So um, so that's all I'm not doing. I'm surprised if you're still here. Well done. I don't know how interesting this will be. It's just like I said, me having a bit of a rant and a ramble. But there are things I'm going to be doing more of, like I said. And in... Instead of New Year's resolutions, I just did the words thing that I've kind of seen has been a bit of a trend. And my words were music. So one of the things I want to do is listen to more music. And I'm using Alexa in here. So I've been putting it from my phone onto Alexa, kind of having a dance around the kitchen. That's got quite a few benefits for me. One, I can I do that when, when Kev's at work. He doesn't have the same taste in music as me. And obviously he doesn't want to hear loud music while he's working. Um, but it means I can listen to my music. I can have a dance around, which is good for me. And also... If I have a sing-along, that's actually good for migraines because it stimulates your vagus nerve, which is what's causing all the problems. So I'm going to do more of that, more listening to music. I think that's been on my list every new year and I just never do it. So I have done it a few times already. Um, music, health and simplicity. Those were my three words. And so I think the health and simplicity will, will hopefully come with not doing these other things. So I'm going to be using my um, exercise bike more with the time that I have spare in the evening instead of having to take all my makeup off and then not having any time left. So I've done that a couple of times already as well. Um, and the simplicity is just trying to whittle down the collection of things I have. And if I don't use them or they don't work for me, then get rid of them. And I've been doing pretty well on that um, so far. You know, it just, it takes time to get through everything and use everything. And actually my bathroom storage now, I've had the two bathrooms done, is a lot 
well not a lot smaller it's a little bit smaller um, I don't have as much room to have loads and loads of shampoos and conditioners sitting in the cupboards you know um, so I'm kind of going to need to do that did I tell you about my bathrooms there's been a bit of a disaster with my bathroom I had my main bathroom done and I had the ensuite done because we had leaking situations in both of them and they were both very very old we put those bathrooms in when we moved in about 12 years ago but we we had to do it at, at the cheapest we could we didn't get a bathroom fitter or anything. We did most of it ourselves. Paul Kev did most of the tiles. He doesn't have any experience in the area, but we did have a lot of it, a lot of it ourselves. And it, it was nice enough, you know, but nothing special. But it, it obviously it hasn't lasted because it wasn't a professional bathroom or ensuite. Um, Kev and I nearly killed ourselves getting the ensuite shower tray in. It was so heavy, I remember that. What was my point? Yeah, my point was we put these two in and we went to a bathroom fitter and a designer, you know, I was a bit worried about that actually because I hadn't seen a lot of the things in person. I'd seen little samples of them, but I hadn't seen them on the walls and all of that. And what we missed in all the what colour do you want the worktop or what colour do you want the walls and what colour do you want the taps and all of this, we didn't even think about the size of the bath. And they have redesigned my bathroom to have these, what they call ducats, these um, recessed shelves, which look gorgeous. But they've had to build that out a bit. And long story short, my bath is too small. It's way smaller than what I had before. It's thinner, it, it narrower, it's not as long, and it's not as tall. Um, and I didn't realise any of this until I got into it and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's just not worth having a bath because not only that, it's double-ended. We didn't even think about having one, my other bath was one-sided, but it's double-ended, sloped. Um, and so if there's barely any water in there and I'm just sitting in there, my knees are above the water, you know, you can't completely immerse yourself. And so no more baths for me, but that in itself saves time because we've now got a good shower, at least in the ensuite, and I'm, I'm quite enjoying my showers. So I've sort of moved from having long baths to having showers and that is actually simplifying things. So it's funny how things happen. Anyway, I've rambled enough. I hope this video wasn't too boring. I don't know if I'm even going to put it up. I will watch it back and see if I sound too crazy or too boring. See what I think. <laughs> no, perhaps I will put it up because it's authentic, isn't it? It's just telling you what's going on. And maybe if you see me with my nails really short and not looking so great, you'll understand why. Um, anyway, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um, and I will speak to you again soon.